when I started to practice as an oncologist, I would say that it was very depressing to be an oncologist because we had very little options to treat our patients. Now the scenario is completely uh, changing. My name is uh, Nicola Normanno. I work at the National Cancer Institute of Naples, the Fondazione Pascale. We do clinical research in different tumor types, including ovarian cancer. There is an increasing interest in testing HRD also in other tumor types. Actually, we know that the presence of the genomic alteration in mutations in either BRCA1, BRCA2, might uh, lead to response to PARP inhibitors uh, in tumors of the breast, of the pancreas, of prostate. But we might hypothesize that uh, if uh, uh, BRCA mutations are uh, leading to response in these tumors because of a deficiency of the monocytic combination pathway, this might occur also for other genomic alterations that as well might affect the HR pathway. And therefore, I would say that there is a, a clinical need at least to assess HRD status in these different tumor types. When you look at the tumors outside of high-grade ovarian cancer, it is also important to have information on specific genomic alteration, particularly on actionable mutation, that might offer potential for therapeutic intervention. For example, the PIT kinase mutation in breast cancer, or maybe uh, even uh, uh, Keras mutation now today in the pancreatic cancer, we have an increasing number of Keras targeting drugs that really do interesting data deriving also from the use of Keras G12C inhibitors in pancreatic cancer. Well, these are all examples of why comprehensive genomic profiling will be important in these tumor types. You will have the information on HRD, you have information on BRCA, you have also the information on the other actual mutation. And this is the difference by using comprehensive genomic profiling versus other panels that can provide all information on HRD and maybe BRCA status, but will not give you any information on all other genes. Also, TMB could be important in the subgroup of patients. This is why I think that my lab and many other labs will try to implement comprehensive genome profile solution. In Europe, um, most of labs prefer to test in-house rather than sending out to the samples. This has to be clear. And this is for different reasons. The first is, of course, is the cost, because uh, by testing uh, samples in-house, we can simply reduce the cost. The second point is also that in academic uh, institution and with academic institution, I'm referring to universities, National Cancer Institute, but also large hospitals that have uh, research programs, it would be always important to have the possibility to test the samples in house because when we gain experience, we will accumulate data. We can go back to the data and look at the sequence. I think there is a huge issue that we need to implement this kind of translational research in our institutions, testing all the samples, putting together our experience, our data, so that we can really create public available database that can help also to move the field of precision oncology. If you outsource this, what will happen is that you will not never have access to, to uh, sequencing data, uh, the cost will be higher. Also, the uh, performance of these tests that are outsourced uh, is not that good, at least in, in terms of success rate, because of course they have strict rules on the samples that can be accepted for testing, and we saw pretty high failure rate when we outsource the samples within clinical trials. So I think that European lab can do much better as compared with centralized testing, and thanks to the introduction of precision oncology, to the immunotherapy, all these options that we have to do today, we can do early diagnosis of patients, but we have also very powerful therapeutic options. And so this is an exciting uh, time to be an oncologist because here you can quickly translate what we, you, we have found in the lab into clinical practice, and uh, we are seeing really the difference for our patients. Thank you.